Hey, I'm Jazz and welcome to my manifesto for educators. New rules for schools number five. We're all leaders now and you're more powerful than you know. Uh, there's a great quote, Silver Shoes on Twitter put up, which is be defined by your soul, not by your role. And if there was ever a time to ignore the words in your job title and act from your core values, it's now. And it's really important that when you're leading others in that way, that you're leading yourself first. So it's critical that when you're leading yourself, the way you show up, the way you are intentional, the, the way you speak, the way your, your way of being is all in alignment in order for you to lead in the best way possible, which is why this is critical. This is the support challenge matrix from Giant. I love their stuff and this is especially helpful when we're looking at how we lead, not just others, but ourselves too. So when we're leading, where we wanna be is here in Liberate. The pink line is about support and the blue line is about challenge. So when we're in Liberate, if we give high support and high challenge, we liberate people because we invite them to, into autonomy, we encourage them to, to feel empowered and to make decisions. So liberating is great. It's gotta be high support and high challenge. You can't have you know less one less than the other and support comes first because if you support someone and then challenge them, you get more out of them. Often, <laughs> we've got a tendency sometimes when we're under pressure to get stuff done, to give high challenge and low support, where it's like, right, come on, we just gotta do this. Just gotta just get your head in the game, just do it. This is what we're gonna do, just everyone focus. That's great, and, and pe sometimes pe that works because people do do it because they're scared. They don't do it, they do it out of compliance, they don't do it out of commitment, but it gets done, but it's limited how long that can go for because you're inducing a lot of stress to get that done. And it doesn't really build any loyalty. It makes people quite fearful. Up here, we've got high support and incredibly low challenge, and that leads us to be a protector. So in that stance, what we're doing is saying, right, we've got to get this done. Let's do it together. Shall I do it? I'll do it for you. Let me do it. You just sit there. Don't you worry about it. It's all done. So what you're doing is denying someone the opportunity to grow and learn. And it kind of breeds mistrust because it, people don't trust you because you don't trust them. You don't trust them to do it. You're always doing it yourself. So they don't trust themselves either. Down here, this is a really sorry place to be, abdicate. Low challenge, low support. Well, what can you do? You can't do anything. I'm just one person. What could I do? Might as well do nothing. We've all been there. And that's the key thing. Where are you? Which quad quadrant are you in, in your work, in the team you lead or the colleagues you lead? Where are you when you're at work? And where are you when you're at home? Because previously in our old normal, some people were in liberate at school or at work and at home in abdicate. You were liberating others at school, but just like nothing to do with what was going on at home. And, and now we find ourselves in a place where home is where we are all the time and things need to change in order to keep going. I know for me, I spend a lot of time when I'm leading myself. Where are you with yourself? When I'm thinking about myself, I spend a lot of time here in Dominate, criticizing myself. Come on, you should have done this. Why haven't you done this? I mean, that if I'm not intentional, I spend a lot of time here and I miss out on the, the just going a bit further north. And also with my kids, I've seen that I can be in dominate with one and in protect with the other. And at one point for three seconds, I was in liberate with all three. Oh, we celebrate that moment. But the, the thing is you can be in different quadrants at different times. And what we all need to be aiming for is to be here in liberate, high support, high challenge for ourselves, for each other and for the people we lead and serve. There's not really a time now to say, oh, it's not my job because your job now is to show up and be you but be intentional, be aware of what it's like to be on the other side of you and make sure that you take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. Thank you for joining me. You're awesome. Join me next time on A Manifesto for Educators. New rules for school six. Authenticity is your superpower. I did that really well. I hope it is six. Yes, it is. Marvellous.